This is a short clip from a longer workshop focused on Tyson that we had a few weeks ago. In this video, we're going to see how to add images to your web application. And is we're going to add uh, an image. So right now, our application is a little bit sad because it's just text. And then there is the question of like, hey, what do you do if you want to add like more cool things? So what I'm going to do is to add uh, an image. So of course I had some images that were ready here. I'm going to use this one that is a logo. We're going to use these other ones later too that are uh, background ones. So like you can see uh, B1 to B5, but I'm going to start with the logo. So how do you add a file to your project? Pretty much you just drag and drop. And I'm going to drop it here. It's going to ask me if you just want to link the, the file itself or just copy it. I'm going to copy it, so it's going to move it to the same folder that the entire project is in. If you link them and you don't remember that and you have it in a completely different file and you are sharing, then you could modify that file and then you may not know that uh, it's changed your application. So that's something that I usually don't try to do, but well, it depends on how you work. And you have it here, logo.svg. So what I'm going to do here is that in this section, in this div, that is UI, UI content, this is where we added our hello there. So here I could add uh, an image. So and this is for a question on the chat. Anyone that uh, shares on the chat, what kind of like tag, HTML tag that I can put here to add this logo? Uh, well, you can get some swag from our friends uh, of the developer team. Okay, image source. So uh, yes, that, that, is, that is the, the one that we're going. So, well, three persons can like answer that. So Neda, uh, Laura, Phantom, uh, like you guys can, like you guys all answer correctly. That's exactly what I need to do. So, so that's exactly what I need to do here. So unfortunately we have the autocomplete here. So image, so yep, that's it. It immediately for the alt, which here I don't need it, so I don't need it, whatever. And then here you're going to have the source. So I do know what this is going to do, so I'm going to take away these ones because I can drag directly from the uh, Project Explorer the file, and then it's going to say like what you really need is the name. So here uh, you already got it there. The cool thing is that if you do that in something like this, the style.css, because it already has a folder, I'm going to do it here and then I'm going to do it. It already add the entire path. So sometimes if you have like doubts, just find the file here in your project explorer, and then it's immediately going to uh, add the entire path of what you need. So that's not what I need, it's just to show you what, what I wanted to do. So this is it. The other thing that I wanted to point here is that the, this is an, uh, a vector graphic. So pretty much almost all the graphics that are supported by HTML are supported here. So let's see how this looks. I'm not going to, uh, you could ask, you see, about PNGs, JPEGs, GIFs, or GIFs, and SVGs, everything to, with, with him. It's just that I wanted to point out that this is one of the formats that are supported here on uh, the application. So I'm going to do here. Right here, we already have our logo. And not just that, on our logo, we could do something like, let's add, I'm going to be lazy, and I'm going to send it to the same, um, to the same page. So we could add immediately an anchor here, or I can do it the other way around, but this one works. And then that means that our logo is going to act pretty much as a button, at least to send us to uh, another another um, HTML that I was that I already created there. So if I just tap here, she takes us there. Obviously, I'm kind of cheating because I'm sending you to the second HTML, but you guys get the idea. So this one is pretty cool. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Check the playlist that we have in YouTube for more videos like this. Thank you.